Hi ladies, hey, 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 Glam Squad. To my new subscribers, like and subscribe and join the Glam Squad. And to my returning ladies, thank you for coming back. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Now let's get into this. Hi ladies, welcome to another video. Child, listen, grab you some wine. That Grab you some wine and have a seat, girl. Let's get into this. Sonny, you have any kids? Not yet. You know, we're going through IVF right now. I had to listen to my friends ask Sonny about having children with my ex. As a woman, like, I think y'all would know that that's a hard conversation to have in front of us. Oh, but it was cool, though, when back on January 4th, when you were outside with the Paramore celebrating Martell's birthday, right? Talking about that's his whole family, right? But Nell can't ask her because she's a newlywed about having kids or do she have children? But your ass was talking about you coming back with Big D energy, right? But that's just the front. You really hurt about him and her about to have in the back, you know, trying to conceive a baby. Mm-hmm. All that big D energy gone now that she's trying to have a baby with her husband, huh? That's his wife, Destiny. My wife ain't going for that. <laughs> what they call a triple, triple, yeah, triple? Yeah, how it yeah. work out? We don't know who's going to be the side yeah. chick yet. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't yeah. know. You know, no, my wife, my wife. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. You know what the side chick going to be? <laughs> oh, please. I'm not laughing at that one. Martell, you so sleazy. Not every man wants a side chick. Some men don't have trauma like you. They actually grow up wanting to be a good husband. You know what I'm saying? I know he was married and he was in and out of jail, but he may be a little grown now. You know, I even though I know Destiny wouldn't mind being his side chick for 20 more years, but he love his wife. He ain't like you. And Martel never had any sexual relationship, never went that far. But you did go to his house. Yes. Is she married, but she not married, but she engaged, but it's she just still tell the no. truth. I just did. What I heard, she trained Martell. First off, what type of goddamn cat that Trish got on her top of her head? That's an ugly ass hair, dude, to have on vacation. There's just no way you can take cute pictures. Anyway, moving on. Um, like uh Nell said, yeah, just tell the truth. Anyway, the way it looks like Trish that you was in the marital home when Mel looked like she left with the kids or they were still married, regardless of the fact. You was up in Martell's house, and I don't care if he penetrated you or not, but y'all did something, okay? And your ass had to tell um your um fiance the truth. Ken, I've been trying to tell you to marry me. This luck jaw don't want you. Yeah, Martell slid somebody DMs. Screw it. To get some training. It ain't none of your goddamn business, though. This was before me. Four, five years ago? <laughs> no, he could have did that. He was married. Yeah. He's not DM sliding while he's married. That was the same time that me, you, and Maurice when we went to Las Vegas, okay? You right. might want to be quiet for a minute. <laughs> free Reese! Free Reese! Now, nah, Courtney, you might want to be quiet because we want to hear the goddamn tea. What happened in Vegas, Martel? Because these niggas, these Scots, we've been trying to tell you them Scots wasn't your friend. You see how they trying to put you up to fighting Ken and Ken could whoop your ass? My man could whoop your ass. Courtney, you shut up. You hear me? You shut up. Reese. What? What is public knowledge is that he got arrested. It's a DUI this time, but it could have been worse. I'm hanging out with some convicts. Maurice was arrested and got out for the DUI. He was on social media with a bottle of liquor in his hand. Again? I want to know sincerely how you're feeling in those moments. I can't help what I don't know. I don't really know if, if you can help me. Well, Kimmy, you can't help a man who just got out of jail and went back right back to the party and with a bottle of whatever that was, some goose in his hand. Partying, baby. He need AA. He don't need, he don't want your cootie cat. I hope it's moist now. And he don't want, baby, he need AA, okay? You can't help him. I'm going to defend you to, to, to the moon and back. Like, I don't care what none of them say. I'm big on respect. I'm not going to keep turning the other cheek. I'm here to fix this. Shit. Like, that's why I'm here, straight up. I get it. I f***ed up. Like, I wasn't there. I get it. I'm sorry, Trish. This divorce, but that don't let me sleep good at night. I don't even want to talk about it. I'll fill this out. See ya. Well, sir, I don't know what you did, but ain't no turning back now. It looked like you don't went to the A and you done got turned at. 
Okay, okay. So anyway, um, Trish looks like she might marry my man. I hope she don't. But, um, yeah, that's what happens when black men abandon their family. Talking about, oh, this divorce. Nigga, what you were doing for five years when you abandoned your wife and kids? What the hell you wanted her to do? Wait on your ass? And you know. If you don't know, I'm telling you. Hell no. That's why I always say, Amanda has a female friend that could come at four in the morning and that nigga think that's okay. Y'all got to pay attention to family members and other females in y'all life that think it's okay to call your husband. You got a problem, you need to call on Jesus, okay? Don't call my husband. And since you used to call me, uh, Martel at four o'clock in the morning, Mel don't know what the hell you were doing, sleazy. I don't have time to keep trying to defend and go back and forth with people all day on the internet. That's problematic for me. One of her proclaimed fans came to my warehouse with her camera out and her friend while I'm cussing and crying. And she takes that to get a warrant for my arrest for, guess what? Harassing communications. But that's not her fault. I'm saying state where you stand. Do you agree with that? I don't have to say <laughs> Say less. The now, Stormy. Not you trying to talk about state, state where she's staying. She's staying with the melameters. That's where the hell she's staying. Okay? Old Buffalo nose looking ass. Okay? Shanita, thank you for being a good friend. Thank you for being a friend. Okay. Now, Stormy, harassing communication, DV. Okay? Put that in there. Okay? That ain't the same charges that Black Titanic got on your ass. Okay? And first of all, BT had the right to get the charge that she got on. I hope she refiled them on your ass. Because you're a little too vocal coming against Melody. All right? Chill out. Tread lightly. Time about say less. Yeah, nigga, you say less. All come back and download their feelings. But she's not taking accountability. Everybody know how I genuinely feel about you. I thought I did, too, till I heard that interview. You should have you. Unfortunately, stubborn. Some of these people, Nacho. Why the hell, Linnell staring at the phone like that was her on a damn interview? Like, who that is? That's you. You remember everything you say? Yeah, Mel, Mel changed the phone case, okay? But let me tell you, that phone got all the evidence in. And Linnell, you in a gray area, baby. The friendship over. I'm not the one. Tisha, this is not you at the club with Nail, Linnea, whatever you want to call her. This is Shanita. Shanita ain't on the show. She could whoop your ass and catch a charge, nah. Your mammy not even on this vacation. You look like you had a little too much to drink. You need to go to AA with your brother-in-law. Marcel did an interview by his saying, I'm like, why would this dude even fix his mouth and say something about my charge. So what's the problem with you then? Every time he opens his mouth and says something about Marceau, he gonna be talking about Martel. Yeah, never say about Marceau you. Tell you about what about? Marceau knows about Martel. I'm okay. telling you right now, I don't have no respect for you. Okay, you a bitch ass? Like it's like dude code, and it's like bitches that we <laughs> together. I'm not saying nothing about it. Oh, we've never you never been together. Where the bitches at, Martel? Let me see. Cheers to my boy. Martel! Go ahead and say your shit. Keep going, big fella. Keep going, big fella. I'm done. I'm done. Martel, spill the tea on the marriage. Spill the tea on the marriage. Now, Marcel, you know you done effed up, right? Because you know Martel hold all your secrets from when y'all was in the Airbnbs when you were cheating. It looks like your wife done got mad and she went get back. Tisha went and got her get back. And it happens to be with Martel, homeboy. Nah, don't nobody hold Martel back. Let Martel get his lit back because we want to know the tea. Now, y'all, I am hot. I am ready. I know half of my subscribers ain't, ain't going to watch this part B and y'all don't care about what's going on. Don't worry about it, baby. Long as you come over here, like, share, and subscribe, and comment. I got you. I'm going to watch for you. Well, anyway, y'all, tell me what y'all think about this preview. Did you change your mind? Will you watch? Oh, hell no. You just watch the reviews. Um, anyway, please like, share, and subscribe. And bye, ladies. Let's talk down in the comments. Do y'all think nobody should hold Martel back? Because, baby, I want to know the tea. Bye, ladies. Thank you, ladies, for watching another video. Please like and subscribe. And remember to check out my shop. Bye, ladies.